Hello and good morning. Welcome back. It's a grand unveiling of another Monday edition. And we, we have cheerful faces, don't we? Yes, we do. We're smiling. Yes, we We're happy to be back. Yes, mm -hmm. it is Wake Up Nigeria. You say welcome back like we shouldn't be saying it to you. Welcome well, back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Couple thank of weeks. Thank She's you. been out on leave taking care of the family and everything. Yeah. And now she's thank back to take care, of, take care of you guys. Oh, Indeed, yeah. Indeed, you are welcome. I miss you guys. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, after all, it is a Monday and you guys have anticipated this day to kickstart your week. Even if it's a holiday, we have chosen this as our lives to make sure that your morning goes blissfully mm. correctly, mm. to make sure you start your week the right way. Welcome. This day is on us. Yes, it is. And we don't take it for granted. We don't take it lightly at all. We know that your time is very valuable and you're spending it with us, making it golden. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Some other person that appreciates your presence here yeah. is Mary. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Mary? I'm doing great. I feel good this morning. I can't believe it's a public holiday. It feels like a proper Monday, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, of course, uh, always a pleasure to be on your screen. Yeah. It feels like it's going to be a bright, beautiful day. It will, and I've it got is. a question for everybody. What is a holiday? A holiday? Yeah, what's a, what's a, a as holiday. far as we're concerned, what's a holiday? It's a break. We don't, we don't have holidays. No, we don't. Our we're holidays are spent with you. <laughs> and let's get the show on the road. My name is Tite Laya And My name is Mazino Appealed, and you can watch the show live on GoTV Channel 27, which you probably are doing already, or maybe yeah. even Channel Band 49 mm. on Terrestrial. Follow us on all our socials. Please do. We are at TVC Connect. You can also watch past episodes of the show on YouTube. TVC Entertainment is the channel you're looking for. And of course, then you can send in your comments using social media when it comes to the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of them, Sha. Everything. We're and we're right remiss there. if you guys, if you guys don't have the apps on your phones already so you can carry us with you anywhere yeah. you go, please do make sure that you download them, please. It's yeah. for free. All you need to do is search us out. We are TVC Connect all across every single thing. Yeah. Take us with you anywhere you're going. So let's tell them what we're doing on the show. Yes. We will, of course, after all the football activities that happened over the weekend. And shortly, we will be finding out the 10 steps to aid your personal branding, uh, brand navigation actually, with Dr. Ambassador <coughs> Charles Otudo as he joins us in motivation to discuss that. And after that, we'll be joined by Nigerian producer and music artist and so much more. He's been celebrated by the Grammys for his participation in the making of Beyonce's nominated album. We're talking about the amazing Bankuli. He'll be here to discuss liaising African artists with international acts yes. for the next level of Afrobeats. For SME, we have Azizat Enyolonda Alini. Now she is known as Sisi Kobla, and she's gonna be joining us to talk about her brand, Sisi Kobla. It's a high-end shoe and bag brand, and it prides itself on its commitment to craftsmanship, quality, and timeless design. No relations to Bashra Alimi. It was actually <laughs> your comments. Yeah. It was actually what was on my mind when you I really, saw yeah, 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 it. <laughs> Good to have you guys back after a weekend. A long weekend for most people out there, but a very yeah. short one for us because most of us were here up until Friday, except you welcome back, Titi. Mm, yeah. Mike hey, Mezzicano. Your Saturday, Sunday. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. You, yeah, you work so here. Don't, don't do a shameless plug again. We don't want to hear. What? It's it, not it, shameless. There we go. So if you haven't listened to there. me on radio please, before, go please ahead. do this weekend. Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. Saturday on 102.3 oh, Max dear. FM between 10 a.m. and noon. Mm. And Sunday, 6 yeah. to 9 p.m. also on Max FM. Are you done? Have uh, you got I, that off your chest? Can I plug Mike <laughs> no, as well? Because Mike has this great sports show. But of on course, Saturday. It's a beautiful you, game. What if time is it? If 11 a.m. No now? No, if no one watch, it's no one watch. It. Right? <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Mazino has the black table. Uh, oh, come on, guys. I just noticed something going on. What? Mm -hmm. So we have this red thingy here, and yeah. then we have the yellow thingy yeah. there. Yeah. And yeah. It was totally why, are you, why are you guys deciding to be just too cheesy today? What? Oh, what is wrong with you? Let's bring out the red. red. Try, try this on for not cheesy. So this happened <laughs> during the weekend. The networks have been mad crazy. Have you guys been able to use your internet on your phones? Mm. It's been it's, very, very tough, hasn't it? It's been a little here and there. Okay, so through when Saturday, put the bar in our phone, through Saturday we had no internet uh, connectivity mm. at home. Mm. And it was very frustrating. And we realized how much we invest, how much we spend on our phones online. as a family yeah. online. Yeah. Without that, we couldn't do some basic functions. Yeah. And we're at a loss as to, what do we do now? Oh, okay. You know, so... <laughs> 
On Sunday, we decided to go out and visit another family, which is something that we wouldn't have done if we had internet. <laughs> so I, I've decided that this is what I'm going to do starting from today, and I'm going to tell this to my wife when I get home. Um, we are going to start a process whereby we'll have certain times or parts of the day that are internet free. Absolutely. So for me, it will be for starters the first two hours of every single day, oh, apart from you know work, work, and then the last four hours of every single day at mm. home, so I can concentrate on family. Mm. And I think everybody should actually invest in this because we're spending too much time online. Yeah. I'm trying to well. remember what I read about that. I, I'll, I'll probably tell you guys about this off air. <laughs> uh, something about um, strict family time, don't yeah, use your yeah, phone, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah. So you could figure out some of the games that we play here on Wake Up Nigeria on Fridays and take some of those and turn them to family activities that you do at home. Exactly. And uh, fill the time exactly. when the internet is off, especially when it's raining. It that it's rain, rain, though. Yeah, so the rain. <laughs> you know where I'm check going, out right? the weather. Yeah, exactly. Oh, That's last, last. We have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. The Nigeria Police Force has confirmed the receipt of a letter from the Independence National Electoral Commission to investigate irregularities in the just-concluded Adamawa rerun. The police said the INEX letter, which was dated April 18, 2023, detailed the alleged impropriety of the actions of the Adamawa State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Odu Yunusa Aru. Ari Adon had in the just concluded governorship election in the state illegally announced Senator Aishatu Dahiru Binani as the governor elect in a dramatic way. His controversial announcement raised tension in the state while denting INEC's reputation. This was made available in a statement by the force spokesman, CSP Olumuiwa Adejobi, on Sunday. Away from that, the federal government has set up a committee to rescue Nigerians stranded in Sudan due to the unrest. This was contained in a statement by the National Emergency Management Agency, signed by its head of press unit, Manzu Ezekiel. Nema said the committee, which consists of professional emergency responders, will constantly evaluate the situation and seek for the safest way uh, to evacuate Nigerians, even if it is through a neighboring country. The Director General of NEMA, Mustafa Ahmed, expressed the agency's concern and assured it is working on all possible options of bringing those stranded back home to their loved ones. The Chairman of Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Iriwa, on Friday stated that the federal government is concerned about the plight of stranded Nigerians, but the tension in the troubled country has made it gravely risky for flights to airlift Nigerian nationals out of Sudan. Uh, talking about Sudan, it has been hit by a near total collapse of internet connectivity, leading to Sudanese people struggling to stay connected as fighting for control of the nation continues. The incident comes as foreign countries, including the United Kingdom, the United States, the Netherlands and France are evacuating their citizens amid fighting between Sudanese military and paramilitary forces. As American government employees were being evacuated from Khartoum by the U.S. military, U.S. President Joe Biden declared on Saturday that Washington had seized operations of its embassy in Sudan. The Nigerian government has also set up a committee to rescue Nigerians trapped in the troubled country. According to media reports, there have been more than 400 fatalities and more than 3,500 injuries since the battle started. Yeah, why not get down on all fours like your kids and work out? That's actually a workout. We don't take note of what our kids are doing when they're crawling around the room. All right, then let's take a look at the headlines in the dailies this morning. We're going to be starting with The Guardian newspaper. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. Rising poverty costs dampen eSIM adoption impact on Nigeria's card production. Uh, now, page six has more on that. And there is an interesting illustration on uh, the different types of SIM cards we've gone through over the past decade or so. Uh, the eSIM is the tiny one right there at the bottom. Uh, Aetoro Ondo, community slipping into Atlantic Ocean, it says. Uh, news analysis on page four. Sudan, federal government negotiates safe exit for stranded Nigerians. How unregulated state agencies, firms engage in multi-million naira scam on the property pages right here 
in The Guardian. As another Lagos building collapses 24 hours after Songolu's visit to Banana Island site. Matawale reinstates Emir, suspended for turbaning bandit Kingpin. Page 20 has more on that. And that's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. We have with us the Punch newspaper as well. It says here, on the Sudan conflict, government seeks Egypt's support to rescue 5,500 Nigerians by road. Federal government warns as Nigerian students pay $100 for dangerous road. And uh, we're waiting for Sudanese government to provide safe corridor for evacuation, says the minister. Top left there, it says on Nigeria's indebtedness to World Bank now at six trillion naira llng train seven rep seven summon dewu saipem over workers petition and police launch manhood for fleeing adamawa wreck what else do we have here it says here tinubu may return today to meet apc nwc two children five others burnt to death in lagos ibado highway crash and uh, lagos state government blames Developers as another three-story building collapses. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch. We also have with us the Daily Trust newspaper. It says here, federal government begins evacuation of stranded Nigerians tomorrow. 5,500 waiting for government action. Students move to Ethiopia, uh, cry for rescue, and airlines bypass the airspace. It says here, Tinubu returns today amid National Assembly leadership contest. As Buhari's tenure ends, auto policy remains elusive. Matawale uh, reinstates Emir, suspended for turbaning a bandit's leader. And it says here, hunger, sickness hit Niger IDP's camp. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Trust. And indeed, all we have time for when it comes to the headlines in the dailies. We'll be back after this quick break. I like today's facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apple this having so cool. billions. Yes, and okay. owls being prolific lovers. Wow. wow. Who's prolific? Owls? Yeah. Aren't they monogamous? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. I've, I've never thought of an owl as an actual... I don't, th I don't have any reason to think about them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. In that manner. I know, right? Anyhow. <laughs> um, there's a lot happening in the, the tech space, uh, especially with regards to AI. And, and I saw this video online. Uh, where there was a lady saying, well, asking if you have a safe word with your family. So basically, if someone calls you with your wife or your child's voice, how will you know if it's truly them? Because of the advent of AI, because yeah. AI has now started to, it's gone past, it's gone past chat GPT now. Now yeah. you can actually um, mimic um, another person's voice yep. to the extent that it's impossible to tell whether it's not the person. Yeah. Um, over the weekend, there was a song taken down from um, off the internet because it was by Drake and The Weeknd. Mm. The fact is, Drake and Weeknd never got together to make a song. But this song has, wow. been, has been on the airwaves. It's been, everybody's been listening to it thinking it was Drake and Weeknd, but it wasn't them. It was AI generated and it was a banger. And people were loving the people song. People were loving it. Yo, Drake, Weeknd. Yeah. But back wow. to what you were saying. Yeah, it's, 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 um, I, I, I've always had a safe word well of recent of the past three years we've had a safe phrase mm -hmm. um so if we're ever in doubt and someone knocks the door i say the phrase mm. and then they reply the phrase mm. but i'm just wondering you know if it was on a phone if it was a phone call what would i what would i say what would i how would you know if it was real um, you know, someone says, oh, they maybe they're, they're in a bus, they're trying to pay their transport or whatever, and, and they need some cash. Okay, can you send cash to this account? I'm trying to pay for this. How would you know if it was real or not? Because that already happens when people yeah. say, send you messages and say, hey, yeah. I beg, I'm making it, it happened to us. Yeah, one yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. remember, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, when one of our colleagues was like, yeah. send messages to everybody, I beg, I'm trying to, can you send me 40 k and I was almost doing it, but then again, I actually like, almost did myself. You know, you know what's funny? Now last it's going to step further where it's voice activated. Yeah. Now. I oh. asked my sister for some money. Yeah. And the way I asked, I, I included, you know, I, I asked and just sent it to her. And it, even when I read back, I realized it was in a weird way. Suspicious. So she started asking questions. Mm -hmm. She asked some questions that only I could what have known the answer stand? to. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the moment she started asking it, 
I smiled. I knew why she was asking those yeah. questions. When everything ended, and I said, don't worry, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a yeah. relevant question, actually. Yeah, it's because, very, yeah, very it, 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 I think it's only an issue of cyber security, generally, mm -hmm. and all of that. Because um, I remember that situation where we yeah. sent a message and all that. Of, of course, a call to the person directly would easily mm -hmm. solve that. You saved the situation, Try actually. To, huh? Mike actually saved that yeah. situation we had. Yeah, that yeah. We had. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it, it, a call to the person directly would help, but then, um, when you, one other thing, cybersecurity as a whole, as much as it's going up now, how do I put it now? AI would, has also found a way to detect. So you know you could, you know you could find, you have softwares that can detect that mm -hmm. a work was plagiarized. Yeah. That means mm -hmm. if I submitted something to you as yeah. a lecturer yeah. and I got it off somewhere or maybe even chat GPT wrote it for me. Yeah they will be able to find out. So the point is um, ensuring that you have features. Mm -hmm. So being up to date with cyber security, generally, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It starts with your phone, two-factor authentication. Do you mm -hmm. have it? You understand all those ways. It's easy, it's harder to hack. So if I know you have two-factor authentication, yeah. I know I have it. If you send me a message, there's a very, very, like, it's, 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 it's harder that you were hacked because you have two-factor authentication, yeah. Yeah. very much harder. Yeah. The person would need to have two factors that it's going to be hard for one person to get. Mm -hmm. So my point is that generally, cyber security, we should take it more serious the, and learn how to be more security the, the conscious. Beyond two-factor authentication, I've always believed that the internet is going crazy. <laughs> and that's the reality. I remember last week I was talking about, oh gosh, AI should not take over and everything. And my God, like, look at this one. The reality <laughs> is, things have gone even more advanced than we, than we yeah. can imagine. And you have agreed. <laughs> I'm not Finally. saying that I'm going with the advanced world. I said it last week now. Yeah. I said that it doesn't get to Don't worry, positive. give them two years. You'll still win. <laughs> 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 talking about. I said, We're taking no, it personal. No, no. We're taking it personal. No, 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 no. You know what? <laughs> last, last. Have some certain conversations oh, with your family and your kids Until that you know that the response is theirs. Mm -hmm. Try and figure out how they would truly respond if you had the conversation. A group we know. How? A group we know. That's better to try. Try. Ask personal questions. So incidentally, I'm having a course this weekend, over the course of a weekend. It's, it teaches how to use AI, how to engineer, and how to prompt AI, learn how to use it. Mm. You would, it would be easier for you to fish out things like that. All right. Then. Hold on now at the course. Just Professor. Me Dr. Mike. Learn to get. Let's take a break now. Tell us what you think. Hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We'll be back. have uh, Dr. Charles Otudo uh, to handle that for us. How are you doing today? Very well. Good morning. Good, Good to be morning. here. So I'm going straight to the point because I know <laughs> we have a lot to talk about yeah. this morning. Uh, ten points agenda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's hear you. Um, in a world that's full of pessimism, yeah. staying um, positive in, 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 a, in negative a negative world yeah. uh, needs some key strategies. Yeah. And I will just try and breeze through them and these are the key strategies that have also worked for me personally. Okay. Um, I've been through a lot of stuff too, mm -hmm. and I've seen these strategies work. And it's about putting them into practice and not just on knowing about them, mm -hmm. but executing them. Mm -hmm. I think my first point would be, you need, everybody needs to define their brand. Define your brand. Define your brand. Okay. What makes you unique? What makes you different from any other, every other person? Because once you can define your brand, you can also define what makes you tick and what makes you break. Mm. Most brands that are defined stay in their lane. So no matter what goes on, you stay in that lane, knowing that it's just temporary, like I said last, like I said last, um, last week. Yeah. Okay? So define your, bra your brand. Then you have to, secondly, embrace authenticity. Embrace authenticity. Be you. Mm. Once you can define your brand, you stay authentic. No two brands are the same, and that's why God created all of us differently. No two thumbprints are the same. Yeah, that's so true. once you can define your brand, be authentic. Mm. That helps you to understand that you are a unique creature. Mm. You are God breathed. Mm. The Bible says, I'm not, I'm not going spiritual, but we are all God breathed, created in His image. Mm. So be, be authentic. And then once you, you remain authentic, you stay your lane. Okay? Thirdly, surround yourself with positivism. Mm. A lot of times, we, 
the people around us affect us. Try and surround yourself with positive stuff, mm. positive content, mm. positive write-ups, yeah. positive movies. Even music. People take it for granted. Even music. Music, yeah. music is, is actually, if you listen to jazz, yeah. it lifts the spirit. Yeah. So surround yourself with positive stuff. That's true. There's an entire generation that was influenced by rap music and mostly negatively. So yeah, what are you what and, are you taking? And most of that that those songs are all about violence. Yeah. Now see, see, see look at how the world has turned. Mm -hmm. See how, what's happened to the world. Negative content. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, fourthly, we need to be careful how we use social media. Mm -hmm. We need to be selective what we see, how we use it. Now, social media is a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. It has positive. It also has a negative. Sure. If you're not careful, you're going on that undue pressure from the display of, uh, on, wealth, of wealth fake life. that is not even, now yeah. you said it, that is not even backed up by any facts. Mm. Stay in your lane. It's better to work harder and smarter mm. and stay in that lane and then stay out of negativism. Because when you earn your income the right way, you have inner peace. Mm, that's true. Now, the beauty of that is that you dictate your pace. That's true. Nobody else dictates your pace. Mm. Whatever fashion or whatever is the vogue out there, block it out from your, your, your mental space. Yeah. That way, it keeps you in your own. And this comes from a place of contentment as contentment. well. Contentment. Yeah. The challenge we have now, a lot of people are not content. Yeah. Oh, that man bought it, this one. This person just did, I must do it. It <laughs> can never be <laughs> me. <laughs> so, no two fingers are the same. No two fingerprints are the same also. Mm. If you stay in your lane, you will make it long term. Mm. And you have inner, mm. inner peace. Okay? So, now, let me just digress a bit. Okay. If you look at social media from the negative point of view, mm. it affects you negatively. Sure. But if you use social media from the positive point of view, be an inspiration. Mm. Be an inspiration to people. Be careful what you even post on your platforms. Yeah. The things you post do not go away from the social media space. Yeah. The they internet never forgets. They never, the internet never forgets. Yeah. So staying positive helps you long term mm. in being and remaining authentic, mm. okay? Then, invest in professional development. Mm. A lot of people do not read. The internet is full of positive content that can help you grow. Even on, on, um, on, on YouTube, there are development courses. They, they are, there's a lot of content that are positive, that can help you grow professionally. When you, stay, when you don't grow professionally, you start get, feeling insecure sure. by other people's success. So, grow. Mm -hmm. Invest in professional development. That helps you to understand that you are as good as the next person. Mm -hmm. And then pay for good content. Invest. Mm -hmm. There are seminars. There are even free seminars online. Mm -hmm. When you invest in your professional development, it gives you a, the strength. Just seek it, knowledge. Seek knowledge. Everywhere. You've said it all. Yeah. Then yeah. be adaptable and agile. Adaptable and agile. You see, hmm. we, we stay, like I said last week, some people stay static in their space. Be adaptable. Change happens. So when the negatives have occur, adopt and switch on to the positive mindset. Hmm. You have to be ad adaptable. Yeah. So if you understand that, it helps you to also adapt mm. to the changing environment. Mm. Look at all the headlines today in all the newspapers. Mm. Negatives. Why? Because that's how the world is. It's a, it's, it transforms. Mm. It's consistently changing. So if you, you can adapt, it puts you in a position to go to get to the next level. Yeah, because you are what you consume. Now, let me now wrap up because I see yes, the kitchen. because we have to wrap up. Yeah. Seek support. 
seek support. Seek support. We are scared of asking for help. Mm. Look for a mentor that can help you. Mm. Ask for help from friends. When you get into that mood or the mood, seek for help. Mm. Why do we have a lot of suicide? Mm. Because people stay in their dark space and they don't shout and ask for help. When things go negative, ask for help. Look for friends that are positive-minded to assist mm. with positive advice, and then they will help you go through that phase. We need to learn to ask for help, mm. okay? Now, you have to net finally network strategically. When you network strategically, you seek the right people mm. in your network. Mm. Your network is your, your net worth. That's true. I seek out the right people in my own network, and it's intentional mm. because I need them more than they need me. Mm. So you need to be strategic in your networking. Mm. This helps you to stay in the right lane. Mm. Because when things go wrong or negative, everybody needs help. Yeah. So finally, let me just rush up now. Okay. Stay focused and stay consistent. <laughs> in all the negativism that's going on, just stay focused mm. and stay Positive, positive no matter what no matter what i i feel like <laughs> we we need we need all these points you've given us over the course of the last yeah, three to four weeks now fourth week yeah it's it's actually been an interesting session thank you, you. Know, charles thank, thank you, you so much the pleasure time. is mine thank you so much we're looking forward to the next time you come on the show no problem thank you so any much. day anytime thank Good. you for having me thank you so much uh, at this point uh, as we have fed our mind and our soul it's time to feed our tummies. And Titi is on standby with the chef in the kitchen. Thank you, Mary. So you, you fed our minds. Now let our bellies get well fed. And in the studio with us today, we have a brand new chef. Yes, Chef Ifi is here from Ifilicious Abacha. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Um, now, the fact that you tagged your business Ifilicious Abacha. <laughs> That is extremely deliberate and intentional because that's your focus, right? Yes. How long has this been going on? Um, five years. We turned five years, um, first of March. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Started in 2020. No, 2018, sorry. <laughs> 2028. <laughs> Sounds very futuristic, <laughs> but don't worry. I, feel I plan to be here for that long. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. So now, you know what? Um, the fact that you have named your business, Ab well, Abacha is in the name. Yeah. It gives me a lot of confidence. I can, you know, chest out and say, don't worry, what we're going to have here today is going to be tasty. It's going to be great. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking our time from your busy Thank schedule. Thank you so much for having me. So let's talk ingredients. Okay. We're making abacha, right? Yes, we are. Uh, of course, we are, right? <laughs> what are the ingredients we need so that people at home can prepare? Okay, first, we need abacha, clearly. What is abacha? Um, so these are cassava flakes. Okay. Um, so is this an indigenous uh, meal um, from the eastern part of the country? Okay. And you need uba. Okay. Um, oil bean. You need vegetables. Okay. You need garden eggs, okay. salt, mm -hmm. maggi, mm. pomo, okay. fish, okay. peppers. All right. Um, this is called ungor. So it's ungor. made from yeah dried um, plantain oh. fox. Yeah. Really. Yes. Okay, so I don't it's think people healthy. would have this around the house, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you go to your local market, I'm sure you can find it. Okay. So it's healthier than using um, a cow potassium. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is healthier than um, a cow, because a lot of people get sick when they use a cow. So there's this. Palm here. oil. Palm oil. Yes. And vegetable Great oil. Vegetable to fry the fish. Okay, beautiful. All right, so now this hails from which part of the country? The eastern part of the country. Okay. All right. So would this be like a celebration meal or? Yes. Actually. Okay. So, um, so if you're from Enugu, mm. Abia State, um, most of our weddings, yeah. naming ceremonies, um, you must, this is a staple uh, meal. You All must right. have this Fantastic. So I can see you've done a lot of prepping and chopping and cleaning. Uh, What's going to happen first? Uh, so we'll start from the fish. So we have to boil the fish and okay. boil the pomo okay um so and add the spices go ahead add the go spices ahead. when we're ready to make that butter okay all right then so, so well with... chef ify we have full faith and trust 
that this meal is going to be sumptuous. I will. It's going to be <laughs> ifilicious. <laughs> and uh, well, hey, if you want to find out how this meal is being put together, you need to stay close to your TV because we're going to show you everything. Don't go anywhere too far. Back to us right now. So you know what? As we are, we've got loads of ingredients to work with. Yeah. And we already have some on the heat. So what have we done so far? Um, so we've seasoned our fish. Oh, okay. And pomo. So we're about okay. to boil them, bring okay. them to the boil. All right. So uh, the pomo, is it going to take a long time? Or have you, have you already sorted that? No, it took about five minutes. Five each. minutes. Yeah. OK. So are we talking high heat? Because you, you brought some really nice glass cookware. So I know that this is tempered glass. Yes. I can see it's strong glass. But, yeah. you know, it feels like you don't really cook things too long in these kind of <laughs> cookware. Talk to us. Uh, no. hmm? As, though sometimes we do. Hmm? Don't worry, it can take the heat. Okay, it can take the heat. Yes, Fantastic. Yes. All I needed for you to do was <laughs> confirm that. Yes. Fish is in there, um, onions in there. Yes, onions and seasoning cubes. Seasoning cubes, okay, fantastic. All right, fabulous. We still have quite a few other ingredients yes, to showcase, uh, to uh, talk, well, to okay. use right now. Okay. Let's move this fish plate away. Sure. What, for those who missed it earlier, let's talk ingredients one more time. Okay. We have uba, titus fish, vegetables, cow skin, and dried abacha. But then there's also garden eggs here. Yeah. Uh, we have, is this? Oh, so this is ogiri. Ogiri. Fermented um, seeds. Fermented seeds, OK. Yes. Uh, what's this powder right here? Uh, this is um, ehuru. Ehuru, OK. Yes. All right, fantastic. But this looks like there's, it looks like there's work that needs to be done on this. Yes. What do we do with this? Oh, so we have to um, soak this before we start to prepare the abacha. Okay. Because it's right. really, really dry, so you need it to get a bit soft. It is. Yes. But this is the same cassava used for gari, right? Yes, it is. And for fufu? Yes, it is. All right, fantastic. Yeah. What about this ingredient here? Uh, that's uba. Is there anything we're doing with this? Yes, we are. So we're going to add this on to the one we're placing it. So we're going to mix this separately and mix the abacha separately, then add this on to, onto the abacha. So how long will this soak for? It's roughly three minutes. Three minutes? We don't want it too soft. OK, fantastic. Yeah. All right, then. So at this point, we are getting to work. We're waiting on the fish to boil so that the, yeah. the juices can come, come out. out. Yes. The pomo needs to soften. Soften, yes, it is. But you're okay. also frying the fish. Yes, I am. OK, all right. Once we're done with all that, you'll be back with us to see more. Mike. It's all yours. <sighs> Hi, now the first hour is always the one that gets you out of bed. And we like to say the second one, however, uh, is just here for good measure to ensure that you have a spring in your step. Absolutely, especially on a Monday here, you are tuned into the right place for something wholesome, family entertainment, yeah. certified to entertain you and everybody around you. And we have the next 45 minutes to help you guys set things in motion for the entire week. Now it's a public holiday for our- It is? Children brothers and sisters it actually is yes and they are <laughs> celebrating today and we ask uh, that you let us you know be part of your world as you celebrate absolutely now my name is mazino appeal yeah, my name is Tita Lara did you forget so, for a second no i didn't forget <laughs> i'm actually thinking about the aroma coming from the kitchen yeah. because we have abacha well on the way is and mary is standing with our chef right I, now she's I, uh, <laughs> wow. That's She's, absolutely, it smells really good. I had to tell her that this one is Abacha Pro Max because as in, I, I'm seeing so many things and I'm seeing a lot of cooking going on and I'm like, okay, this one don't pass Abacha. This one don't reach another <laughs> level. <Wow. laughs> but don't worry, at the end of the show, of course, you'll see the end results and we cannot wait to dig into it. Hang on a second, Titi. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? Am I seeing a glassware on our stove? You yes, that? you are. Can actually That's cook? glass cookware, yes. yes. I never knew this. Yeah. Can I put it on stove? So, you know that your expensive phone you bought? Yeah. And those cookware, uh -huh. they are mates. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. yes, yeah. I, I, I go what you're saying now. I go what you're saying. <laughs> well, you can keep watching and find out how the kitchen is going by uh, following us up on GoTV Channel 27 and UHF Band 49. And of course, we are on social media. Yes, indeed. Connect.
All across social media, please search us out and make sure that you are watching past editions on YouTube where you can find us, TVC Entertainment. It's that simple. Download the app, okay? Carry us with you, mm. please. Yeah. All you need to do is search out. You have that on Android and iOS. Now, there's still quite a bit coming up on the show shortly. We're going to be joined by Nigerian producer and music artist, Ricky someone Rockbar, celebrated by the Grammys <laughs> for his participation in the making of Beyonce's nominated album. We're talking about the one and only Bankuli. He's going to be here discussing liaising African artists with international acts for the next level of Afrobeats. And on SME, we have Azizat Enyolonda Olaiton, a.k.a. CC Cobbler. Now, she's going to be here to talk about her amazing brand, CC Cobbler. And, uh, hey, when it comes to high-end shoes and bags, there's a commitment she's going to be sharing with us. So I think I made a boo-boo earlier. What was that? We are on GoTV Channel 16 now. Oh, yes. Apparently. 16, not Channel 27 any longer. So, hey... Uh, if you are watching us anywhere else and you want to find us on GoTV, check out Channel 60. Thank you very much. Now, couldn't get enough of the weather from over the weekend. I know, right? I'll mm. be heading back home like this because I really loved snuggling up. Maybe you too, but I'm not sure what it's going to be like today. So let's check out the weather. Yes, so some ify-liciousness is happening in the kitchen away hey. from Nigeria. Ah, ah. Chimo. <laughs> she first of all came to come and give us... The cookware that we are supposed to, you know, I, you know, she said she was gonna leave the cookware for us, you know, when she's leaving, Mary. Did you believe? Did you I'm believe? Not, I'm not gonna get into that because <laughs> you know, you you talked about someone's phone and the cost, so uh -huh. <laughs> let's 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 stick to allowing her to enjoy. Her. Uh, <laughs> well, at least we get to eat the food. Yes, yeah, we're yeah, looking so. forward to the food. Uh, as it is, I'm I'm like ready to just ask for like um, it, it 500 naira worth of uh, avatar. You just take a bowl, put this, yes, put that. This is optional. Oh, Some wow. people don't like it. Oh. This is sold Uba. separately. Right? Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. sold for 100 naira extra in most cases. If wow. you're buying from the local yeah, people. Yeah, from local yeah, yeah, so they'll sure. just give you a bit. Hmm. And then when you put it all together, it's absolute well, bliss. I love Mary, Abacha. I have to stop you there. You oh, know, wow. Because we've mentioned the cookware before. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you are saying 100 naira like as if you no, collect 100 nah, naira food. I said this kind of guy, <laughs> the fact that we buy all ah. of this, oh. you know, from... Look, well, you cannot get, you know, the way it is prepared is different. True. Yeah. The way you you, right you get the one from the roaster, even you sometimes, yeah. you, you will know that uh, sticks and stones, they break <laughs> it. <laughs> all right, so, so let's take a look at the fish. Can uh, we see it? Let's yeah, see. sure. Ooh, looks almost amazing. Red. Fried fish. Ah, yeah. looks I can see the Titus Cisness in it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh my goodness. The aroma is doing doing damage in the studio. Ah, oh. oh my, you should not do damage, Joe. <laughs> I, I need my belly to function properly at the end of the show today. Oh, okay. it's looking good, right? Yeah. So that's going into, into the sauce as well. Yes, it's straight up. Straight okay. into the sauce. As I said, this one is Abacha Pro Max because it's the kind of Abacha that you either make yourself at home or you order from mm -hmm. a chef, Ify, for example. Yes, see? Because, yes. ha. All right. Oh, wow. So, what remains to be done? So, um, so our, our abacha is dehydrating. Oh, re um, rehydrating. Rehydrating. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's rehydrating. Uh -huh. So, um, we're going to add that to the ungo and palm oil mixture here. Okay. okay. What is the so ungo? This, so, I, I explained before, this is um, plantain hocks dried. Wow. So, you just add them to, uh, you add it to water and... You know, sieve out the water part. Plantain well. husk. Yes. Yeah. Dr wow. Dried one. Dried one. Mix yeah. it with water. Yes. Interesting. Wow. And that's an alternative to what? To, to account. Account. Okay. So okay. Some is account the healthier. same as corn? Corn, yes. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> corn is um, more Yoruba. Yeah. 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 So there's account. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you, you use the plantain husk instead of yes account. All right. <laughs> so for those of you at home who are wondering what ingredients you need to make uh, Chef Ify's Ifilicious Abacha, hmm. just take a look on your screen. You need, of course, uba, titus, vegetables, some pomo or cow skin, and dried abacha. Of course, there's stock cubes here. There's garden egg here. There's onions. There's crayfish uh, and palm oil. 
yes. as well as vegetable oil. Well, you know, dried abacha is strange to many people because many people prefer just, you know, slicing their cassava and putting it on. Oh, I remember yeah. when I entered here, I was like, what is, is this dry? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yes. And you, I was like, is it dehydrated? And you're like, yes. And I'm like, wow. Because this is a great way to store it in bulk. Mm -hmm. Do you sell this? Uh, no, the, I don't. The, the, oh, I, uh, that's a business idea. No jokes. Because yes, it's actually great to j just have to go into your refrigerator uh, and, and take out the dried one, rehydrate it, mm -hmm. and then you can put every other thing together mm -hmm. quickly. So that's a your business idea. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, you know. Don't worry, we'll collect yeah. our commission later. Uh, we don't take much. We only take 70%. <laughs> but at this point, we have to go to a quick break. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll finish all the fish before you get back. But we have a performance coming. We'll just take half of it. Yeah. Just <laughs> half. And welcome back. Now, just before I planned an intro for this, but my director just informed me that my guest is a diehard Arsenal fan. And maybe we'll start with that before we talk about the music we're here for. But hey, I've got Banguli and Basil in the house, the double B in the house. Boss man, it is great to have you. He's a friend of the family, always here when we need you. It's great to have you. Welcome, sir. I'm happy for the invite. And yes. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Wonderful. And of course, you're here with Basil, who gave us that wonderful cover, that wonderful performance. Yeah. It's great to have you. You're welcome. How are you doing, man? Very well, thank you. All right, all right. But let's just, let's just take us now out of the way. How did you feel after that draw to Southampton? Uh, well, I mean, it's disappointing. And for me, I believe, you know, life must move on, mm. you know. Whether win or lose, you know, the, the club has a plan. Mm. And um, it's good for you to have a long-term plan. Okay. And the essence of having a long-term plan is to win. All right. And if winning is not coming, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, you have to lose hope. You need to right. gargle up and move on. All right. I like that. Now, coming from an OG, wonderful. Now, let's talk about Basile and what, he, and what you have been doing. Wonderful guy. Wonderful performance we just had there. You know, one thing I wonder about you is that passion. You know, be today you start. It's been, what, now 20, 20 plus, 30 years. <laughs> You've been doing this for so long. But... Oh, back scene, I noticed something while he was talking to the young man and everything. It seems as if you're just starting this. There's that fire, that passion. How did you get to discover him and what keeps that passion in you burning? I mean, for me, um, I see myself um, in him and every other young, young stars, you know, when I meet them. Because, like, I, I, I remember, you know, telling people I started at a very young age as well. I mean, music for me started from age four. You mm. can imagine. Can my dad that. was a teacher. You Four know? decades, yeah. Ah, my dad was a teacher, so you have no choice. You have to pass your exam. And this same, my dad would say, oh, yeah, you have to go to church choir. And mm. you can't fail your exam. So the balance for me was very important growing up. And me seeing him and seeing Raymond, seeing Fireboy, seeing Joe Boy, you know, it's like a replica of what I've gone through. So it makes sense, you know. They don't have to go through what I've gone through. Mm. You know, so my own is how can I impact? And how can I extend what I know that can help them become successful person? In Wonderful. Basil, what has this done to you now? Bankley, you're working with Bankley now. Yeah. How did you meet him? How's, how's the experience been? What has it done to you as a person and as a musician? Yeah, first, actually, um, we met first in sometime last year, around October. Okay. But before then, he reached out to me on my Instagram DMs. Oh, wow. And, you know, it was like... So some of you, open your DM. Don't go yeah. your private page, you see? <laughs> If his page was private now, <laughs> but the great bank really. Right, yeah, go ahead. I, I think he probably saw one of my covers, okay. cover videos, and maybe he liked it, and then he followed me. I was okay. like, that was probably, I think he's the first verified account to follow, follow oh, me wow. on Instagram. Oh, wow. And my, my account was still very small. Okay. So, you know, he just reached out to me, and, you know, we got to talk, talk. Then we had our, like, first studio session sometime around October last year, as I said. So, for me, the experience has been, you know, very... You know, it's inspiring to me, you know, inspiring to other people who, like, um, look up to me, my brother, you know, my younger brother. And, you know, there's some people that want to be like me somehow. Yeah, exactly. it, people who want to be in the same mm. position as me. And I'm actually grateful to God to be be mentored by him because wonderful are you working on a body of art now yes it's so everybody does covers even very established arts still do covers too now mm -hmm. but do you have a body of, do you, what do you have in motion what can people look out for when for basil you know in the next few months and years yeah. what should people look out for yeah over the last um, couple of months we've been working on lots of music okay. you know, making music and you know have like um, a music coming out soon sometime in may and next mm -hmm. month i have my first debut single and you know and project 
Yeah, I'm project. <laughs> okay, so yeah. is he is he are you is he signed under you? What's the relation? What's the business? Well, I'm I'm going to officially say it here, and it's going to break a lot of people's heart because a lot of people always see me as I'm involved in a lot of people's careers. Mm. You know, either legitimately or illegitimately. When there is trouble, they all call Bankuli. Yeah. It's going to be the first. Um, I mean, there are two signed act under Bankuli Entertainment. Wonderful, you know? wonderful, and, um, wonderful. And for me, I believe. You don't have to be signed to me, you know, to have expertise of what I know. For me, I think it's special. Um, a lot of people always think because I signed him, um, I'm lucky. No, I'm lucky, you know, meeting him as well because there are some aspects of his own life, of their own life, you know, Gen Z, yeah. that they're living that is essential for people like us to also tap in. Tap in. Their language, the way they reason, the way they do their stuff. It helps me as well to become younger when I learn from him. So Wonderful. it is not just about me mentoring or impacting him, Wonderful. but also get to know the psyche, how they think, how they, you know, and basically re-engineer his mind to become the greatest among, among the rest. Of so they can learn and we can also learn 100%. from them. Hundred percent. Bankoli, now you, we can't leave you without asking you this question. You know, you've been there, you've done that. Afrobeat has moved. I mean, let's yesterday or just this morning. You know, we had. There was a timeless concert. It was mega. It was massive. This was not the normal hall, you know, where everybody is, but a big stage built. When when you were there creating beats at the at the beginning, when Afrobeat wasn't something, if I when the name hadn't even been coined, Afrobeat, did you see this time? Hey, well, it was there. You know, I I, I, I should say it's a, it's like a rebellious sound, you know, at that time because the prominence of traditional genres, Fuji. I life Akbala, Fela was all dominating the the radio waves, you know, you know. And at the time when hip hop broke out, you know, from US, of course, you know, the young ones, they always tap in one way or the other. And they were trying to do that. The idea was trying to do hip hop, and people realized that, oh, I can actually sing in our own dialect and still do the same R and B and hip hop. And so, I mean, at that time, there was no name, as you said it, you know, it was Ninja music or mm. a Ninja style. Mm. At that, and also there was no platform. I will give it up to one person that at least at that time that was able to create a platform for people to, you know, to, to spring up. I'm talking of Jimmy Jat. Mm. Jimmy was a DJ in, in, on, on, the, on the island. And every time people invite him to come and perform, because he tried to become the so-called <laughs> Afrobeat or Nigerian, yeah. you know, um, rapper at that time, and he was unsuccessful. So he chose DJ. So anytime they call him for a show, all his friends that are still successful or trying to hustle, yeah. he will bring them along and he will call them up to come and perform. So he gave, he created the first major platform that we know. You know, based on research and documentary that I'm working on, I was able to find out a lot of secrets, a lot of stuff that, it, it's not even just, you know, started with Jimmy Jad. If you remember um, Michael Chris and the rest of them, or Mommy Sharon Rarity, you know, their ability to be able to bring our own language Mm. into, you know, decimation, decimating information or using it with music, you know, it all started from the 70s, 80s, it you know, and, and it begins to and get now, refined. You know, uh, uh, did I, was, I was talking to someone yesterday while we were watching um, the David O concert and I said, whoever thought during the period of Alaba, you know, when they were distributing, now music, no bounds. You just drop your music now, streaming, and whoop, it's everywhere and all of One that. One thing you need to understand is that people in diaspora, you know, the access to internet. Internet has been a, one of the major conveyor belts. Mm. You talk about David Doe. I remember the first time I met David was in Atlanta. We were on our way to go and shoot the video endowed with Snoop in LA. I still remember and we that got, video. We that got, was groundbreaking. That was the uh, first, one of the first he, major he, he, collaborations <laughs> of Afrobeat then. hundred percent. And our plane got caught up at Atlanta. So we needed just a lead time. And somehow B. Red and Shinorambu took us to their uncle's house where David o is. And David was the youngest there. Uh, every time we see and we talk about this story, yeah, who is the smallest? Go and buy us McDonald's. And we gave him money to go and buy. And he came back and he was like, can I freestyle to you? He said, like, yeah, sure. And he's like, yeah, that's a local. I'm like, <laughs> I said, the band, or more star, and he was, what you? Wow. Don Jazzy was there. Everybody was there. We were oh, there. Wonderful. And fast forward to, you know, last night. I'm proud of him because, you know, from when I met him to who he is now, he's totally, you know, the gap is so wide. So wide. He has Basil, gone. 
this man has seen the rise and rise <laughs> and rise and fall of many people. Look, it's not everybody that has been that relevant. There are people that we've had, I mean, there's some people that were number one at some point, but today you call their name and nobody knows them. He has seen it all. What do you think you can learn? How, uh, where do you see yourself and how do you think you can get there with his guardians? First, I have to say he's a very hardworking person. Like he works, his work rates, mm. if, if, if you get to know him, He's very hardworking. And so you're work, learning that your work, yeah, exactly. you're, you're your work, work. Rate has to be up there. I, I saw Davido mentioned, he said for this album, he had over 60, 70 songs recording steady. I hope yeah. you are, you're, you're getting on yeah. with that. <laughs> you have to work. That's you have to put in the work. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Actually, where I see myself, I, 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 I see myself on the biggest stage, mm. Afrobeat. Wonderful. Doing Afrobeat music. Wonderful. And I think he has what it takes to get me there. I and like that. I'm just... God yeah, has what it takes to get to <laughs> Nothing happens like without that. God. I yeah. like that. I like that. I like that. So moving forward, what are the projects you have in store for him? How... how I mean, how, from, the, for, the, the for, record label now, your first yeah. officially signed artist and all of that. What are we looking for? What's the name of the label, by the way? Bankuli Entertainment. Bankuli Entertainment. Yeah, I mean, Wonderful. Because we do all around entertainment. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. I mean, what I see about him, I mean, his projects, um, he has, um, of course, the route. Singles will come out next May, videos. It's going to go around, you know. He's already getting used to meeting the established artist. And the essence of, if you go to his Instagram page, you're going to be amazed, you know. One. He have met them. And the reason the purpose, a lot of people are like, why is he doing meet and greet? I believe it's essential for young artists to interact with the bigger artists, to understand yes. what happens behind the scene. Mm. You know, that attitude of blowing up people and you leave them and they don't know what the system is about, I believe, you know, psychologically, he has damaged a lot of young people. Mm. You don't understand what I'm saying? Like, okay, you want to travel to America. You don't even know what happens in the system. Mm. Nobody has given you a clue of how the system works there. Mm. You get your tickets, you get your visa, you landed in America. Magic won't happen. You have to walk through the system. If the person that you are going to meet there doesn't even have enough information to guide you, then you begin to get frustration, frustrated. Depression will set in. You know, you begin to doubt yourself. You begin to know why did I even embark on that journey, you know? So for me, I believe it is important to get them, introduce them into the system. How, what happens backstage, like this interview, you remember you were trying to calm him down, just be <laughs> careful. And so a lot of them will not even get all those prep talks, you know? Wonderful. For me, and uh, that is essential for him. Wonderful. He's coming out with his own EP. He has okay. two, three, four EPs all laid down. All laid down. Yeah. Wonderful. Bankuli, two years from now, three years from now, I want you to look back on this, get this interview somewhere and say, yes, we spoke about this now, but today we are here much higher. Wishing you the best and thank see you, you at the top. Much. Thank you Bankuli, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You are a treasure. And uh, yeah, uh, Bankuli Entertainment over there are out there to the top with the best artists. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome. It is time for our SME segment. And today we are joined by a very special person. You might know her as Sisi Kobla. She's the CEO, but she's told us her very, very name, which is Azizat Eniolorunda. And I think I got that right because it means he who or she who God, God has created specially. Created special. And yeah. indeed, he has created you specially. Thank you. And also giving you the ability to create special things. Why are you called Sissy Cobbler? Since when? How come? Why cobbling? Oh, cobbling. Um, why, why, co why a cobbler? Sissy Cobbler was actually a nickname. Oh, okay. It was a nickname that was given to me by people, you know, when I started doing it. And I just had passion for footwears and bags. Mm. You know, when I see the foreign-made ones, I get, you know, intrigued. But the, the price, the hike in price, I won't be able to get it and everything. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can learn this thing. Yeah, yeah. I can do this thing. How long then. have you been doing it? 10 years now. 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. And how big are you now since 10 years? I mean, I'm sure that you must have people who work with you. Yes, I have people that work with me. Like, how big is your operation? Um, my operation now, we are just um, a team member of five. We're just okay. five currently. Because it's, it's quite a hassle getting people to work for me, being a female and everything like that. But I've been trying to like make it work because the demand keeps on getting, you know, higher as I move after forward. After 10 years, it means you're doing years. something right. Yes, and, and getting the equipment back. and all. But we thank God, at least I've expanded greatly in the space nice. of 10 years. Um, how do you manage, however, when you have people who perhaps, you, you do train people. Yes, I train people. People who you've trained. I'm yes. sure you expect them to leave you and also establish themselves. Yes. But how has that 
affected your business so far? Do you find that you have to start training somebody else again for a while to become an apprentice and then they now leave you again? Uh, it's when I started, I didn't really put a structure in place. Mm -hmm. You know, I just trained people and, you know, they have this particular time that is spent some one year, some two years. But when I trained them in, in a space of two, three months, they're already making their own bags, they're making their own shoes yeah. and they just stopped coming all of a sudden. It was quite a hassle for me, but along the line, I just got like few people, like five different people, groom them on how to make my work and it just work for me. Then if you come to train, you just have your specific time that you use. Then after that, then you leave because mm -hmm. it breaks my heart every time. When, yeah. You know, we, have, we all have these expectations. Mm -hmm. So when it's not met, I just decided, that, okay, let me just have this team member. Even when it comes to getting employees, most mm -hmm. of them, once they know the nook and craniness of the work, at the end of the day, they just leave. Mm. Just leave you that even when they sign non -com non compete form, different type of stuff, they end up leaving, and I will just have to employ a new person and put them through it. Wow, it's it's the hassle quite, of being an yeah, it's entrepreneur just who and a, an employee as well, uh, sorry employer. An employer, also. yeah. Um, let's take a look at some of your um, work here, and I see quite a number. Beautiful. I'm gonna start with this one here, a little slipper. It's very beautifully made and actually quite uh, what's the word? It's the definition for me. You really put a lot of thought into definition, and your Sissy Cobbler brand is on there, which I find Thank very you. interesting. If you guys can see, where do I face this now? There it is, and it's on all of your uh, um, um, products here. Yes. When it comes to branding and marketing, how do you manage in Nigeria? I'm sure you're going to say social media. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started with offline marketing. I, I didn't start with online marketing, but online marketing has actually helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. It's it's like Facebook for me. It's not really Instagram. It's Facebook for me, but when I started marketing was, I, I, I started like a door-to-door -door kind of a thing. I was just doing my thing. Did you come from a corporate background into cobbling or you just went to... No, I, I was a student okay. when I started learning. So okay. I was merging school with okay. making it. But when I finished school, I had to face it full time. You've always I already been had that mind that this is what I want to do. This is what I've always wanted to do. Okay, so back to the branding bit yeah. now. So to the branding, I, I realized that, you know, there is one thing about handmade that people don't really, in Nigeria, mm. you know, these locally made shoes and bags, they feel like it's just the handmade down for mm. the um, foreign ones. So I had to brand, I had to put branding, put effort into yeah. branding the, um, the bags and the footwear so it would, you know, be up to standard. And when it comes to marketing, I started with offline then. Later on, I proceeded to online then through referrals, you know, when one person buys from me, tell another person, another person will buy from me. And that was how I've been doing it from then till now. Ah, I'm going to take uh, two of these products and bring them here um, so I can look at them critically. Now, while you were talking about branding, this was what I was taking a look at. And okay. if you took this and put it in a shop in Milan or in Paris, yeah. for instance, trust me, I would believe that this was something made outside Nigeria. And I'm not just saying this because I want to, you know, make her feel good. I actually do mean it. They do look very, very well made. Like you intentionally put in, like even on the inside, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Getting to this level, I mean, 10 years. The one that really makes me very, very interested is your boot for men. Now that I will buy outside the country. Yes. Do you export, however? Yes, I export. Ooh, no, yeah. I've not started doing it majorly, but I export. I export now this is, this is, this is top-notch quality and it looks very good. Um, so where do you source your material from? I oh. source um, earlier, I do source from Moshe, that is the leather mm -hmm. market in Lagos. Mm. But um, my accessories, you know, to stand out, to be unique, to make things of high quality and make it stand out because the, the main purpose of you doing handmade is when people, you know, custom made, they should be able to wear it and feel the comforts and feel the beauty. And so this is also I started out, Yeah, I started outsourcing some stuff from China, like my eels, the mm. eels sores. I oh, okay, you do that as well. Yes, so I started outsourcing from China, but I buy majorly my items from Moshin. Then um, recently I started getting the real leather from Kano, but I just started nice. that. But I, I get from China, from Moshe, and from Kano. Mm. And, and Abba as well. Oh, good. And if I want a specific design, if I said, okay, this is what I have in mind, you can make that. Yes, I create, that is custom made. I create from the scratch 
using your designs. You know, you tell me what you want. That's why it's custom made. You mm -hmm. tell me what you want, however you want it, and I'll create for you. So start to finish, let's say you spend 100 naira to make one shoe. Yes. Um, how much would you make over that on profit? Um, my profit margin starting was pretty low mm -hmm. due to, you know, people, the acceptance of handmade was not really that much, but thank God we're getting there now. Mm -hmm. So I would say if I'm to, to um, make with 100 naira, I make over like 40% profit. 140 naira, wow, that is interesting. How do I get started if I want to be like you? You, you have to learn first. Okay. You learn on the job. How long will it take to learn? Well, you learn till the end of time. You're still learning, is what you're about to say. I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, you know, different, because youth of nowadays, they are impatient. They don't mm -hmm. want to go through that stress that time. So I have like a three month um, basic course okay. that I train people on the basic um, course then. After the basic course, you go for the um, intermediate course, then you go for the professional level, because we have different levels to you, just like the way the slippers is, the heels, the shoes, and, and the bags, so. Wow, this is amazing. You actually, for the very first time, and I'm not joking, I'm tempted to say I want to be your apprentice. Can I come do this every weekend? <laughs> of course, you can. So I can make shoes for myself, and maybe start. That's an idea, because I have a socks line. Now I'm going to add boots to it. Bestman, what do you think, Mr. Francis? Francis Bestman, they are producers here, by the way. I'm thinking of going into boot making and learning from Sissy Cobbler here. What do you guys think? Wet puppy boots. <laughs> <laughs> but no, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll brand on of the, course you brand on the say, uh, wet puppy boots yes. by uh, I, I, I in make, association with Sissy I make Cobbler. for wholesalers too. I make for other brands too. Oh, you do that as yeah, well? Yeah, I do that. Now, as how well. does that help you? Um, well, it helped me a lot because that was what actually gave me the, the capital to start my business. When I started, you know, I wasn't really getting that name like that. So I work for a lot of they other brands. They outsource to you. So yes, they outsource to me. And I still do. I work for other brands, put their tags, put their label. And I wouldn't actually disclose I was... How much do I need to get started? How much? Give me a... It, it depends. Let's say, let's say I'm done training. Yeah. And I've done my freedom. <laughs> did they say do freedom I now? don't do freedom. I just give you a certificate and you go. <laughs> okay, let's say I've done my freedom. I just give you a certificate uh, and you go. What do I need to get started? The capital I need, monetary-wise, yeah. equipment-wise? Uh, the, 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 the one and only thing that is very, very pricey is our equipment. You know, to get your work to a particular standard to a certain standard you have to have the right equipment and our equipment are quite pricey then secondly they're shipping low quality um, equipment in fact my latest equipment that i got i had to get them directly from china mm. i had to ship them down to nigeria because they are very expensive here compared to to that but people are not really looking into that but to start you can start anyhow with your capital you can start with even as low as five thousand naira. Mm. i started with zero mm. capital like i always say i'll just make one pair then give it to somebody then i'll sell the profit i'll add it then it was just adding up like that like wow. that till today tell you what is is that i definitely will be visiting your establishment because i would love to see exactly how it works and i'm not joking Thank you can't be so surprised much. you're looking at the door oh mazino because i want to see how it works because yes. i love boots Thank you. i especially love this one here it's it's fantastic well Thank made so it's much. brilliant I don't see how you put this together. Thank you very much for coming on ISME. And I'm sure the people out there, you've taken sample from what we've told you here today, especially from the horse's mouth itself as is at here. And um, if this is your fancy, if you'd like to start a business, well, you could contact her. We've had her uh, social media handle scrolling on this since. Maybe she'll give you a head start. Well, do stay tuned. Now we're going to be ending the show in grand style inside of the kitchen because it's going to be fantastic. Do you like abacha? Yes, I do. I beg, let's go, let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Let's, let's, let's see what's fancy, fancy. I'm ready to get my hand oily. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah. They look yeah. beautiful. Thank you so much. Well now, Chef Ifi of Ifilicious Abacha has mm -hmm. done it. Yeah. And she has done a lot. Can you, you see this? Abacha, I went to Harvard. No. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's, it's a sight to behold, and we can't wait for our guest to the have colors. A and Please let, let her have, have some right, already. Let's, honestly, we don't want to keep you. I, I should be the second guest. Please, okay. have a taste and tell us what you think. Okay. Okay. I can be the second guest. All right. See, Mike agrees, so I don't... So, I'm not... abacha is um, African salad. Yeah, that's what they call yeah. it. Yeah. This is why they call it African salad. Because it has how, how much... Oh, sorry, go on. It's, it's balanced. So it's carbohydrates, it's protein, mm -hmm. and veggies. Mm. How much does that plate cost? Uh, so what do you think? <laughs> this tastes so <laughs> good. 
She says it tastes great. Oh, thank you so much. I've been, thank you. I've been trying to taste this for a while now. Really? But I'm always skeptical. Ah, you really? This is uh -huh. nice. All so right. Let her so go ahead and enjoy this amazing meal. Thank wow. you, Chef. If you thank you so much for having me. Masino was out, uh, asking how much. Um, so it depends. So we sell them in um, black bowls. So the bowls go for 5,000 and a bowl. Okay. Nice. Depends. And we do events as well. You know what? Nice. We can't wait to see. We'll be checking you out online. And oh, wow. so will you, most likely. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow morning from 7 a.m., everybody. Have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Happy holiday.